We are currently en route to the Veterans Memorial Highway on Whiteface Mountain. This road has taken us along this raging, flowing stream of water. As a kayaker, I love to see it. I'm excited. I'm like, we gotta pull over and stop. Should have kept my hiking boots on. I'm wearing like little Old Navy flats. All right, time to head to Whiteface Mountain and uh, enjoy this scenic drive. Up it. Just saw this waterfall from the side of the road. All right, we have made it to the Museum of Everyday Life. They want you to turn on the lights. There's really nothing around here that's like, hey, this is where the Olympics <laughs> were held. I'm Lincoln Riddle, the Hidden Gems Travel Guy. Today we're in the Adirondacks of upstate New York, a beautiful region home to stunning mountains. We started the day off climbing Baker Mountain in Saranac Lake, but now we're headed high into the sky up Whiteface Mountain on Whiteface Veterans Memorial Highway, a five mile toll road with an elevation gain of 2,300 feet. Hidden gems are everywhere. I'm here to show you where to find them. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out. We're just outside of Lake Placid, New York, which hosted the 1980 Olympic Games and the 1932 Olympic Games, and Whiteface Mountain was used in the Olympics. The summit is up there. It's shrouded in mystery and we will be up there in just a second. So basically Whiteface Mountain is a tall mountain. It's like 4,800 feet here in the Adirondacks and there is a toll road to go up it um, so you can see it and there's nine different stops and at the top is a summit. So the summit can be accessed by basically anybody. There, I think there's even an elevator to the top and all the stuff at the summit's closed but there is a parking lot. So this road drives up to the parking lot. It was 15 bucks per person so $30 total for us to drive this road. Okay, I have reached the very first lookout. Holly will not be getting out because she is legitimately scared, but my oh my is the view beautiful. And I do want to note that the temperature when I drove from the base up to here has dropped eight degrees. It's currently at 72. All right, that's just a quick peek. I'll only stop at a couple of these. The main show is obviously the top. All right, we have made it to the second stop, and Holly has gotten out this time. Look at this. We are about at about 3,300 feet in elevation. You're allowed to get out and look out, but you must be wearing a mask. That's what they told us down there. So of course the stuff at the summit's closed, but you can still see the lookouts and that parking lot, but you have to be wearing a mask. Got my mask on. I, I forgot for the first lookout, I'm not gonna lie. But I did, I got it for the second one. It's really beautiful. It's a beautiful road and I don't miss it, the chance to see a good view. This looks to be the most impressive lookout thus far. This is really, really something amazing. There's the peak up there. You can see it's covered in clouds. Look at this view. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. On one side, you can see like the Olympic ski jump and everything that they use for the Olympics. I'll see if I can get a close up on that. It's pretty interesting. The Olympic pass for Lake Placid really fascinates me. reached the end of the road. We're up at the top of Whiteface Mountain. You can see there is nothing to see because it is cloudy up here. It's also really cold. All right, enough ooing and aahing. It's time to head back down the mountain. So because the summit was all foggy and it really starts like right there. It, it turns foggy really quickly. I felt compelled to stop at the very last lookout before you get up to the summit because the view up here is fantastic. Also, you can see the top of White Face Mountain Ski Area, which we saw from 
the base. You can uh, see the ski lift, a ski lift right there, and there's also one right there. That might be the last, nope, there's another, I think that might be the last one. I'm not sure. I'd love to ski here. What a place, what a drive. Stopped driving down because I saw this waterfall right here, right next to the road. And anytime I see a waterfall, I try and look at it. I love water. I love waterfalls. Ooh, wildflowers. Before we wrap this video up, I have figured out where the water at the beginning is, or what that's called. It's called the West Branch of the Ossible River. I may pronounce that incorrectly. We are back along this road because we're going back to Lake Placid, and there is a magnificent waterfall here. That's Whiteface right there. We were just up there. Once again, walking down some sketchy rocks in these flat shoes. Look at this. What? Wow. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you subscribe. <laughs>